I am Tia, and this is The Morning Dive. I'm from Los Angeles, and I will be doing an aerial hoop performance. What attracted me to the morning dive, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I mean, who doesn't want to have a photo shoot under the water? <laughs> so now you're gonna go even. Up here. You want me to go here? Can we move this stuff out of the way so it's not in the shot? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is a better no. shot right here anyways. Should I follow you from here? No, you're gonna come in, you're gonna sit right over here. Mm-hmm. Because the sun is over there. So Steve, can you go over to this side? Yep. Okay. Right now I'm working on acting and modeling mostly. I just graduated college, so I'm finally a college grad in communication studies, and I'm hoping to use my degree in anything media related or the entertainment industry. Top of this really right on the bottom part of the hoop. Okay, on the bottom of the yeah. hoop. Got it. And you can put your legs towards me crossed, or you can do like this. Okay, you got know, it. like so you'll be holding it. It's a lot easier because I'm holding something. It depends. Some, okay. It's easy. Some. It's okay. Not. Depends. I do not have aerial hoop experience, but I'm willing to try it. The most I know is how to hula hoop. <laughs> when you go down, mm -hmm. try to push the wings out. Okay. 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 If you can, we'll see. Okay. All right. Okay. Like, it's you'll have to do it when you're under, because when you go under, the pressure of the water pushes them together. Okay. Okay. I don't have any experience shooting underwater, but I am experienced shooting near water, uh, so this should be interesting. I think shooting with aerial hoops underwater should be very elegant, beautiful, artsy, and I am very excited to see how the photos are going to turn out. Today I prepared for the shoot by practice my breathing and to wear sunscreen. Some advice I would give to anyone that wants to shoot with an aerial hoop underwater would be to pace yourself, uh, be calm underwater, have a plan with the photographer, make a strategy on how you're going to pose. That's pretty much all I can tell you. Just be graceful. You can even push your hair back okay. like this, but don't put your right arm towards me okay. because it will cover your face. Okay. Put your left, left arm Got like it. that Got and it. blow bubbles. Got it. Okay. okay. The biggest challenge today in the aerial hoop was sitting pretty in the hoop, of course, because um, just being still under the water uh, is always a challenge for some reason. Um, I always want to float up and so does the hoop. The hoop wants to float up with me too. So trying to find that balance of being still in the hoop and, you know, fitting in the hoop perfectly still, that was probably the biggest challenge. Definitely hard. Yeah, it's a lot harder than it looks. Uh, when I saw the other models do it, they made it look so graceful, but uh, when I did it, it was a mission just to, you know, for those, what, 10 seconds that I'd be underwater, just trying to keep my composure and staying calm, not running out of breath, that was, really hard it was a very challenging thing to do thank you guys for watching the morning dive if you like the content please like subscribe and comment on the video uh, skills required for this shoot in particular would 
obviously be modeling, would be uh, holding your breath underwater um, and just being natural, as natural as you possibly can be um, and somehow turning into a real life mermaid. My experience shooting with Mary Potato was amazing. First time for everything, and I think it has prepared me for future underwater photo shoots. And um, she's just a great instructor and amazing to work with. I was most proud of getting some beautiful shots in. Uh, she was able to show me the shots that we took from her underwater camera and they looked so magical and I can't wait to share all these photos with you guys. If I were to shoot with an aerial hoop again, I would definitely try different looks. I definitely want to play with fabric. Um, something like this would be very pretty. Maybe with a nude lingerie set or bikini set with uh, fabric would be very beautiful and elegant. I'd also want to try different poses. I want to be able to nail the pose where I'm flipping backwards with my arms out. I wasn't able to get a good shot of that because I just kept on floating up but maybe weights could help somehow. So I think that's what I would try next time. And um, you know, just practice makes perfect, really. Okay guys, I'm gonna teach you something that you probably don't know in the next 10 seconds. In German. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, och, nein, nein. And I think that was in five seconds. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching The Morning Dive. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.